Well, hey, y'all. Welcome to Country Coffee Chats with Cheryl, presented by More Voices. I'm your host, Cheryl Christy Bowman, the owner, editor, and primary content provider for More Voices. More Voices is an internet blog dedicated to covering politics and current events in Moore County and the surrounding Sand Hills area in North Carolina. You can find it online at www.morevoices.net. Fair warning, it is more liberal than most political commentary in Moore County and the Sand Hills, so don't say you weren't warned. So happy November, y'all. Hope everybody survived the uh, torrential downpour during trick-or-treat last night, and the kids all had fun and got good candy, and uh, our teachers are surviving the day, uh, having a bunch of tired kids who are all sugared up. Um, we are now one week away from our midterm election, and I will, in this video, post the links to the uh, the early voting information if if you want an absentee ballot today's the last day you can request one if you want to early vote uh you have until november 5th if you haven't registered to vote you can do same day registration up until november 5th uh, otherwise we'll see you at the polls on november 8th uh for uh election day voting and um i just encourage everybody to to come out and and vote uh you know i'm i'm a very uh <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> politically active person, um, but I want everybody to vote, whether you agree with me or not, whether you uh, support my candidates or not, uh, I, I want everybody to vote. Uh, I think it's a sad commentary on where we are as a country that uh, we have this uh, right and so many Americans do not avail themselves of the opportunity to actively participate in their government. This video, uh, just a few quick things. First of all, I want to go over some voter, da voter data uh, with y'all, uh, early voting data that's been shared by the, um, the State Board of Elections. Um, I want to talk about why More Voices is not endorsing candidates this year. And then I, um, I'm going to tease a um, big announcement coming about More Voices. But listen, um, I started these coffee chats back in, in 2018. Uh, basically about the the school board races and it was not even uh, about the races so much as it was about issues going on in our public school and I, back then I was calling them country straight talk with Cheryl okay. um, and so I'm probably going to do one of these little videos every day between now and the election I'm gonna try okay but today I want to talk to you guys about uh, the data the early voting data that's being shared by uh, the um, the Board of Elections the State Board of Elections in Moore County, uh, Republicans are way outperforming Democrats, which is not a surprise. Uh, they <laughs> they outnumber, Republicans outnumber Democrats you know, probably two to one. I'm not sure if that's still the case, but I, I know it was not too long ago. Um, affili unaffiliated voters are coming out uh, in, 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 in pretty big numbers, too. And, um, you know, in, in most places in North Carolina, unaffiliated voters tend to favor the Democratic candidates, but in Moore County, uh, not so much. Um, they skew anywhere from 50 to 60 percent Republican unaffiliated voters do. So uh, I'm not saying it's too late, okay? And, uh, you know, we may get a big surge uh, in this this last week of early voting and uh, and at, at the polls. But right now, the Republicans in Moore County are, are seriously getting their vote out. And, um, you know, Pinehurst, two precincts in Pinehurst are performing very, very well. That is a stronghold, not just for Republicans, but for right-wing Republicans. So um, right now, things aren't looking real good for uh, us flying monkeys. Um, but... Uh, you know, there's still time, and, and I still have a little bit of hope that, that, that there are sane Republicans out there who um, are, are, will support uh, their Republican candidates and still uh, do the right thing and, and support uh, de or decent and sane candidates for the Moore County School Board. Statewide, Democrats are um, outperforming Republicans, uh, but not, not by a comfortable margin. Uh, when I looked this morning, I think they were like a, a hundred thousand votes ahead. Uh, again, unaffiliated voters are coming out in droves and statewide. I do believe that that does favor the Democrats. Um, so my prediction is that, uh, we'll get a mixed result in Moore County. Uh, I'm, I'm hope I'm wrong about that. I, 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 you know, but I feel like we'll probably be somewhat happy with the state results and, uh, you know, 
very disappointed in our local results. And, and, and I hope I'm wrong, okay? But, you know, it is what it is. And I made the same prediction last year, and I kind of got poo-pooed uh, in 2018. I kind of got poo-pooed, and, you know, it turns out that I, I, I was right then. The data is the data, and, and it's pretty hard not to be discouraged uh, by the data that's coming in. Second thing um, I, I wanted to talk to you guys about is, you know, usually I do... Um, along with some other people uh, who provide content uh, to more voices. I do endorsements of candidates, and I've decided not to do that this year. And, and it, there's a lot of reasons. Uh, first first one being, I don't think it's any secret who I'm supporting, and I don't need to do a public endorsement of them. Secondly, I'm kind of transitioning uh, out of uh, my role as a uh, dedicated uh, public school advocate. Um, and I'm moving more into... Uh, covering politics uh, over participating in them. Um, my my children are grown now, and my grandson does not attend public school. Um, and uh, I feel like I've 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 you know I've been doing this for eighteen years, and and I've given a lot, and uh, we all have. We all have. All of all of us have. All of us public school advocates. You know the the Bond moms and the Wonder Women, and you know we've all given a lot. Um, and and I think it's time for me to step back and and let others step up and, and take that role. Um, I'm going to be 50 years old at the end of this week, um, and uh, it's it's time for me I think to focus more on covering politics rather than participating in them and and being a a flashpoint uh, around it. Um, so I'm not doing endorsements this year. Um, everybody, uh, I feel that there aren't any real undecided voters in Moore County. Okay. Now you have voters who aren't paying attention and who are just going to show up on election day and vote for whatever their party affiliated ballot, uh, sample ballot tells them to. Okay. But I don't feel like there's any undecided voters out there and I don't think an endorsement from me is going to help anybody. And I, I actually think it might hurt some people. Okay. The other reason I'm not doing endorsements this year is because, um, and I just wanted to get this in, in there real quick, the way that we elect representatives in our local races in Moore County is structured in such a way to, de to suppress the voices of um, what we call marginalized communities. And the reason I say that is because you, you take a town like Robbins, okay, um, you know, th they have a county commissioner who represents them supposedly and they have a um you know a school board member that represents them but the representative from robbins doesn't need the votes of the people of robbins to get elected you know the representatives of southern pines west southern pines they don't need the votes of the citizens of west southern pines to get elected okay they only need pinehurst uh, that's all they need that's the center of our population okay uh, you're never going to have real representation of, of people in the northern end of the county. You're never going to have real representation of minority communities in this county, so long as we structure our elections in such a way that Pinehurst gets to handpick every representative that we have. You know, somebody's elected to represent Robbins on the Board of Commissioners is not going to be all that concerned with the needs of Robbins because, quite frankly, they don't need your votes to get elected. You know, people in Robbins are always hollering, rightly so. Well, we don't get anything. We, we, you know, nobody ever gives us anything. You know, it all goes to the southern end of the county. Well, of course it does, because that's where the votes are. I mean, they're going to come to you and talk a good game to get your vote. But they don't need it. And they don't need to perform for you. They need to perform for the people of Pinehurst and, and some areas of Southern Pines. That's just fact. So my endorsement wouldn't mean anything. Pilot endorsement doesn't mean anything. You know, pilot, I, I, I kind of think they're, you know, I, I was wondering if they were smoking crack over there with their endorsements this year. Then none of them make, well, a couple of them made sense, okay? But, you know, the only rhyme or reason that I could find in all of those endorsements from the pilot was who they thought had the most support in the wealthier parts of our community okay and and you know that that's all i'm gonna say about that so i'm not doing endorsements this year lots of reasons uh 
mostly because again I'm going to start transitioning out of being involved in politics and and just to cover them okay um, I'm tired I've had enough of y'all <laughs> no, I've had enough of it and um, you know it's it's time it's time for me to, to, to step back and um, um, let others carry the load for a while okay um, third thing I want to talk to you guys about today is there's some big changes coming to more voices and um, big changes and uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to sharing those things with you um, I'll be making a an announcement probably around November 11th or 12th um, um, going to be some shifting in in more voices and it's um, objectives and the way that it covers uh, politics uh, in in Moore County in the Sand Hills so uh, looking forward to sharing that with you guys everybody have a great day be safe go vote lord have mercy go vote talk to y'all later